everybody it's Maureen of Maureen 97 designs thanks for joining me today I wanted to introduce you to one of the projects that I'm working on for my first uh, sewing slash quilting video and it's a quilt along put on by the fat quarter shop which is one of my favorite places to shop at for quilting supplies and we have this group and we're called the socialites isn't that cute um, and we're doing a quilt along which just started on Friday September 25th of 2020 and a free pattern is going to be released every Friday until June of 2021 there are 36 blocks so 36 weeks um, so I made my own little binder for it you can actually buy I'm not sure if it's available right now but you can actually buy a specially designed binder just for this quilt along and it's super cute I just was too impatient to wait for it so I made my own I just printed off some of the graphics in the group and um, put it in my binder this I actually did buy from Fat Quarter Shop and it says socialite I haven't figured out where I'm gonna put it yet so it's just sitting in my binder for now but this is just a regular three ring binder it's like an inch or an inch and a half with regular old page protectors and so I printed out a few things this is um, the line of fabric homestead that Kimberly Jolly the owner of Fat Quarter Shop used to make her samples and this is the projected picture of how the finished quilt would look and so each of the 36 blocks are in here and then they have some half square triangles as accents to finish it out and then some background areas of course you can make your own design it's yours isn't going to look exactly like this if you're not using the homestead line of course yours will be different colors different um, backgrounds whatever it is but you should be having roughly the same designs of the blocks unless you change stuff around which is totally fine too uh, so there's that I printed out the fabric requirements and you can make a three inch block size a six inch block size or a nine inch block size and they actually recommend nine inches for the beginners and then the six inch blocks for intermediate quilters and the three inch blocks for experts only because even though a three inches you know isn't extremely small to make the little tiny pieces that go into making a three inch block that's really difficult so <laughs> experts only um, I'm a beginner so I should be doing the 9 inch blocks but the finished quilt size of that is a 81 and a half inches square which was a little bit too big for what I wanted it for so I chose to go with the 6 inch blocks and that finishes at 54 and a half inches square and it's a little challenge for myself but the thing with these is you're only making one of each block unless you're making multiples but I'm only making one of each block and it's only one a week so I figure I can really take my time so slowly put a lot of pins make sure everything is lined up exactly so that I can get the best possible finished blocks so I think I'm up to the challenge of the six inch blocks if at some point I can't do it then maybe I'll switch and do all the blocks over in nine inches or I'll just switch over and do what I can with whatever blocks I have at the end but we'll see it's only the first week so we've got a lot of time to figure everything out this is the kind of block schedule of each block picture and when it's going to be released so this is the last one on June 11th 2021 and then I think it goes a little bit after that too to deal with the finishing of the quilt and then this is something really cool this is a coloring page that Fat Quarter Shop put out with the blocks but um, not colored in so that you can actually using your own fabric line color in the blocks how you think you want to do your blocks and then some really creative people have even cut out each little individual block and arrange them into a different arrangement if you don't like this layout so there's a lot of creativity even though it seems like everything is sort of set up there's a lot of room for creativity 
beyond just picking your, your fabrics, you know, you can do a lot. So this is the first week I printed it out. It was number one, The Harmony Block by Elisa Alexander. And I followed along with Kimberly's tips and tricks video, which was really super helpful. I'm so glad that she's going to be doing one every week. She actually did do the six inch block size, which was really helpful, but she also gave tips on how to do the three and nine inch blocks. One of the tips for all the blocks was whatever block size you're working on, block off the other blocks, <laughs> block off the other blocks, um, obscure the view <laughs> of the other blocks so that the different sizes don't confuse you. And then there was this whole system for marking how you were going to cut everything and after it was cut, stuff like that, really helpful. And then after I finished my block, I actually put it in to my page protector with that week's instructions because I thought this is a great way to keep it flat and I'll know exactly where they all are. It's not like I have another box that I'm going to have to keep with it or look for every time I want to put away a finished block or look at my finished blocks. So I plan to do this for all of the blocks. I'm not sure if my binder is going to be big enough to hold it all um, with the extras that I have in here. But you know, that's another thing we'll see as we go along. The final thing I have in my binder are the triangulations. Kimberly recommended Triangles on a Roll, which is a Fat Quarter Shop affiliated product. Um, Kimberly owns the Triangles on a Roll company. And, um, but Kimberly actually said, you know, she recommends it. You don't have to use it. You don't have to use triangles on a roll. There are other companies that put out different products basically for the same purpose. And after I looked around, I decided to use triangulations. This is a disc um, that you can buy either directly through Bear Prop Productions or she has a download available there too. Or I actually got mine through Amazon for less than retail. So I'll put my affiliate link down below for that in case you're interested and if you're really interested in what this product is what it's all about how it works please leave a comment and I can do a video on on that as well but basically I just bought some newsprint paper you know blank newsprint paper also from Amazon it was like 500 pages or sheets for about six dollars which I thought was really reasonable and then you just print out the exact sizes you need um, from the triangulation so that you don't have to have every single roll of triangles on a roll or every single whatever pre-printed item to help you with your half square triangles and the other great thing about triangulations is it's not only for half square triangles but it can also be used for quarter square triangles and flying geese so yeah let me know if you want me to do a video on the triangulations but I printed out the ones the sizes that they said would be needed for the six inch blocks and I put them each in here starting with the smallest at the back so that I know when I'm wanting my half square triangle papers I can just flip to the back of my binder and there's the one inch and you can see I used the one inch already for my first week and it was really really helpful they came out perfect and um, I highly recommend them so yeah let me know about the triangulations and so that's basically it for the binder the other thing I wanted to tell you about is how I'm storing all my fabric because I actually starched and ironed my fabric beforehand which a lot of people did I believe and I didn't want to fold it up after I starched and ironed everything all flat but I didn't know where I was gonna store all these big pieces of fabric so what I did was I took the idea of using pool noodles from um, people using pool noodles to help make their quilt sandwiches and I actually cut one in half so you can see I got two pieces out of each one and I wrap my fabric around and I love these pool noodles because they're foam you can actually stick pins in them and they hold really really well so they'll hold your fabric in place and this one's a little wrinkled because I didn't iron it actually um, this is my binding fabric and this is my background 
and so I just have all of my material on pool noodles and then I have it all stored in a big tote bag along with my binder so that I know every Friday I can just pull out my whole tote bag and have everything I need for that project. So I hope this helps and if you're at all interested I'll link the socialites, um, the blog post below. And we also have a Facebook group where everybody is sharing finished blocks and everybody there is super nice and super helpful and it's just so inspiring. So if you're going to be doing the, the quilts along, I would highly recommend joining the Facebook group if you're on Facebook. So that's all for me today and thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.